Are these really the best models of 2023? Models.com unveiled the winners for their Model of the Year awards, so let's have a look at what went down and I'll give you my thoughts on who really should have won. If you are unfamiliar with the voting, Models.com displays the winner as picked by members of the fashion industry, as well as the reader's choice, which is like a fan vote. The online presence of the winners greatly impacts the results, so be sure to keep that in mind. Starting with the Woman Model of the Year, Anak Yai was picked by the industry and the readers. I love Anak, she is a generational talent, but Mona Tugard was my pick this year and I think made more of an impact. I do have to acknowledge Anak's viral moment at the Mugler show, her many covers, campaigns, and how incredible she looked at the Met Gala. For the men, we have Kit Butler as the industry vote, Matthew Simono as the reader's choice. Kit is a bizarre choice. This was definitely not the most successful year of his career, but he is doing better than a lot of white male models at the moment. Matthew Simoneau is one of the most followed models on TikTok, so it is not surprising to see him here. My pick was Dara Gay, who very easily had a stronger year than either of these young men. The breakout star for women this year was Angelina Kendall, and I absolutely agree with this pick. She has the natural beauty that those Instagram models tried to pay a surgeon for, worked for giant clients across the board, and covered several magazines. Alex Kansani became big on TikTok, which is getting her more bookings, but definitely didn't deserve to get this many votes. The male breakout star winner and runner-up show a very clear shift on what the next casting trend is for the upcoming season. Dark-skinned South Sudanese models dominated the runways for both men and women this year, but we are finally starting to see more Arab models working. As someone who has been following the runway shows for years, this is a big step forward because up until recently, designers and casting directors would do anything to avoid putting an Arab model in their show, despite a huge portion of their clientele coming from Arab countries, not to mention populating their own countries. Akbar Shamji would have been my pick for breakout star, but I'm sure we will be seeing more of him in the future. Now to the dumbest category, we have Bella Hadid and Alex Kansani for Social Mover. At least with Bella, posting Instagram stories about Palestine can count for something, but for Alex Kansani, just being trans is considered activism. Her TikToks are not about advocacy or education, but a girl from San Francisco speaking in AAVE and being loud in public. The agenda of Models.com is to preserve the status quo, keep the agencies that fund their website happy, so their selection of nominees for Social Mover is very fitting. My pick would be Sarah Ziff, the founder of the Model Alliance, who didn't just talk about changing the industry, she has definitely improved the working conditions for models and continues to do so. Private changing rooms with no photographers shooting the models backstage at New York Fashion Week happened because of her and the rest of her team at the Model Alliance. She also helped get the Adult Survivors Act passed in New York State, which gave a one-year window from November 2022 to November 2023, allowing alleged victims of sexual offenses to file civil suits where the statute of limitations had lapsed. The impact of this was felt beyond the modeling industry and allowed victims a chance to have their voices heard and seek some sort of justice. My runner-up for Social Mover would have been Naya Balenk Gatwich Pure, who with the help of the investigation by the Sunday Times, exposed the sickening practice by model scouts preying on young people from the world's largest refugee camp, offering them a dream that most of those scouted put them in a worse situation than before. I'm working on a full video about the subject, but it should be stated that Models.com is not interested in showcasing activism when it calls out those people who are paying their bills. Is Models.com a sloppy website full of inaccuracies that misrepresents the fashion industry? Of course. So take these winners with a grain of salt. I had my own picks, but let me know in the comments who you thought made an impact in 2023. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more videos about the fashion industry and those who define it.